I'm going to show you exactly the trade that I'm going to use to pass a prop firm. And this is what some people will call the morning star pattern. It is a great pattern and we're going to use it in conjunction with some indicators, the A plus setup and support and resistance levels. And this is going to be primarily focused on buy trades. Uh, but I want to just first show you what a morning star candlestick pattern is. So it's when you have a move down and then you get a bottoming out and then you get price breaking lower, getting a new low, which you'll see. And then right here we have the new low and then candle popping up. And this might not be a perfect one, but it's pretty close. Sometimes you'll see a tail like that. And you know, it doesn't always have to be perfect because you know, if we switch to another time frame, perhaps I go to a, fifth, a five minute, it'll look a little bit better. Uh, so I'm gonna just mark that and let's go to a five minute. You'll see five minute, you can see we got a little different characteristics, but the time frame doesn't matter because it happens, it's what's happening in the market. And really what we're trying to find is that the market is bottoming out and then reversing direction. Okay, that's really what we're looking for. So if we look at it on a 15 minute, it looks really pretty good. Uh, if let's look at it on a 30 minute, a 30 minute looks really nice, right? You can see on a 30 minute, we get the drop down and the, it's only two candles instead of three. Well, actually you could take this candle in, but these three is the pattern. Whenever you break that high, right, of that previous low and you see it take off, that's what we're looking for. That is exactly what we're looking for. So that's all there is to it. It's super simple. Now, I'm going to go into some advanced ways to trade this to make it better. And as always, and what I said before is, you know, your own trade integrity is what's really important here and that you have this identified and uh, that you can know when to trade it. So you can keep track of your quality setup so you know what the trade is that you're looking for. Right? You want it to be consistent in quality and you really want to know the exact parameters. There shouldn't be any confusion or guessing uh, on your parameters. You should know what you're looking for when you're getting into a trade. And so I'm going to go into those details. So, uh, so this is pretty much what I'm looking for. Price moving down and then a, a morning star pattern. A couple other things that I want to see. Uh, number one is I like to do a reversal morning star pattern in the direction of the overall trend. So let's go up here now and look at a higher time frame. Okay. And so how you define your trend is, you know, there's a million different ways, but I am looking for daily charts and I'm looking for price. You can see overall price has moved up. We are below these particular moving averages. Uh, so we're below this 10 and 20 and 50 so the price has been moving down recently but overall we're looking in it for an uptrend and on a daily chart we have a very nice pattern right here develop okay and so i'm looking for a pullback in an uptrend okay so again this is just so basic this is just so basic we just look for this if you, right i'm looking for pullbacks and when i'm getting the pullback morning star pattern morning star pattern, morning star pattern, morning star pattern, right? And yes, 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 you could trade an evening star, an evening star, an evening star and make money. It's, there's no problem with that. Go for it. But I like to review my trades every single week, make sure I find out which ones I did good on, which ones I did bad on, and figure out works better. And see, the difference with this is these are bigger moves. If you go with the direction of the trend, your moves are bigger. And so it's better overall for your trading. And I am not uh, in a big hurry and I don't need to trade a lot. I only need to find the best setup. And for me, it's trading in the direction of the trend. Okay, so that's number one is you want to find a morning star in the direction of the trend. And so the way you do that is you can do it on a daily or you can go down to a lower time frame and find one on a lower time frame in the direction. Because I like to look at the four hour time frame 
I like to look at the daily time frame. I like to look at all of them. And so here's another pattern in the direction of the trend. Another one that just happened here, right? You see uh, it's moving up, we're trending up, and um, the pattern developed right down here. You see that? Pretty nice. And it's not, it's not, doesn't always look the same, but we have the tails down and the break of the, the high after a pullback, right? It's perfect. Now here's another one. Price pulled back. We got the t break of the high. There's one right there. Here's another one right here. Price pulled back. We got the break and then we went away we go. Okay, so if you do that in the direction of the trend. Now, the third thing that I'm going to be looking for that I really find helps a lot is key support and resistance levels, okay? So we want to try to find these off of key support and resistance levels. And uh, the way that you can do that is you can start on a weekly time frame and zoom out and just draw levels, draw levels on where price has stopped in the past. So let's check, see how well this worked this week. Like, I mean, this is just too, <laughs> it's just too easy, right? Look, there's the level. Price went where? Right into the level, okay? So now we have uptrend, we have price off of a level, and then we get the morning star pattern. Okay, so we have number one is T for trend. Okay, number two, L for level. Okay, and then we have uh, P for pattern, TLP. Okay, TLP. So uh, I am participating in a propathon next week where I'm going to be trading live in front of people and showing them how to pro, uh, prop firm test. And this is what I'm going to be looking for, right? This is what I'm going to be looking for right there. Now, as part, just to get a little more uh, detailed here, another factor, and yes, this, another factor is I'm looking for um, some trend walls, okay? And that's, that's another big bonus. So if we can catch a trend wall, uh, like for example, see this one? how it was a short off the top of that trend wall. We have the evening store pattern. Now, I've told you I'm looking for the direction of the trend, which is true, uh, but I just saw this quick example, okay, right off the top. So I always try to draw these upward channels when I'm buying because now I know where price is very likely to stop. Okay, so right now this is a weekly time frame, and so I have a really solid channel right here. Now, if I extend this out and I take a weekly buy, where do I think that price could go? I think it would probably go right here. Why? Because I think it'll come up and stop, roll over, and possibly head back down. Okay. Uh, another place to look for it to stop would be right here. And then if we get a double top, we could roll down. Okay. So these are just all things that you got to build into your trading memory, but it's important to have it defined really clearly. Uh, because that's what helps with your quality. Quality trades are critical. Knowing what you're looking for, so you want to have that TLP, right? Trend, level, and pattern. If you have TLP, you're going to do really well and just review your trades every week and find out which ones you're following this on. And it's not going to always work, right? It's not going to always work, but it will work a lot. Okay, so now let's uh, let's keep looking here and I want to show you some more of this trend line stuff because um, it's pretty interesting. So when you're moving down in the direction, let's say you're on an uptrend and you're looking down, there's always usually a downward trend line happening. Okay, you see that a downward and we can call these like the megaphone pattern because you get an upward wall and you get a downward wall. Okay, an upward wall and a downward wall. So I like, I know that we have as part of the TLP, I like to have a double wall here, right? A double wall. So when you're typing out your L for your level and you say, oh, I want level, a double wall is even better, okay? So that means we have a horizontal wall and a diagonal wall. H for horizontal and D for diagonal, okay? So we got a horizontal wall and a diagonal wall. So that, as far as the level part, makes the level even better. 
And so if you get that, that is a great setup. And you know, you also can look at your MACD. MACD's lower, pulling up. You got your RSI lower and crossing over. And you know, these to me are great confirmation tools uh, that work in conjunction with everything, right? They work in conjunction with everything, okay? And so we're trying to find them in the direction of the trend. Um, and so on a daily time frame, this is an uptrend. We did have a big down move, so some of these trades would have worked well to the downside, and that's something you have to be aware of and consider. So if you're in a day tr uptrend and the current move is like uh, 680 pip pullback, you could trade some of these to the downside. As a matter of fact, I did uh, like this, right? I'm like, okay, we're in a daily uptrend, but we have some nice... Um, trades. So we can draw this pattern right here. Let me restart that. So we've got like a, a like a megaphone pattern. Price came up. We have the other resistance. See this? Okay. So what do we have here? We've got level and that is horizontal and diagonal. We got two levels. HD, right? LHD. Levels, horizontal, diagonal. What else do we got? We got the pattern. We got the P. You see that? That's an evening star pattern. We got the P, okay, and then we got the trend. Everything was pointing down, okay? So we have T L H D P. T <laughs> so uh, I don't know if using these kind of uh, symbols helps, but if you have T L H D P. TLHDP, you are on point, right? And um, that is primarily what I'm looking for to find the great morning star setup or the great evening star setup. And this is what I'm going to be trading in the Propathon. As a matter of fact, this is the only setup I'm going to be trading. That's it. I'm only trading this one thing and I'm going to be grading myself and I'm holding myself accountable to make sure that that is the trade that I'm taking. I want to be consistent. I'm going to hold myself accountable to that. Okay, and so right now, you can see we have it. We've got T here for uh, upward trend, but the tr trend is actually moving up. So I was thinking about shorting this, but then I'm like, oh, no, the T doesn't happen, no T. So the T gets an X. So my checklist, you know, I keep a checklist right on my desk. And uh, so T, there is no T. So the trade's already over. But if I wasn't trading that, that'd be a great trade, right? I, I believe this would probably work. And there's nothing wrong with that. You just got to define your setup. You got to define your setup. If you want to take this counter trend, but I'm more interested in finding out where this is going to stop right and trying to catch this on the downside so if we have um, if it comes back comes down here or comes down here we get our level here we get a horizontal level here I'd be more interested in trying to buy right there right because then I have the T I have the T in place right and then I have the L for the level which would be right here and then I have the diagonal so I have a level, which would be a horizontal and a diagonal. And then I'd wait for the pattern to develop, which is a price action reversal pattern. So now I have TLHDP, TLHDP. So if I have all of those in place, uh, then I am much more likely to get a winning trade. And you know, you don't have to trade a lot to be a successful trader. You don't have to trade all of the time. You just got to be quality and find the right setups. Uh, a great example that I've used recently is, you know, when, when you start working at McDonald's, they have high school kids working there, and they teach them how to make a Big Mac, right? And it's very simple. There's a certain formula, a certain recipe that they have to follow. Uh, to trade the Big Mac. And if you go to eat a Big Mac in New York, a Big Mac in Pennsylvania, a Big Mac in Germany, they all taste the same, right? Because of the formula, 
the formula is there that they teach teenagers. So if you can't trade and you're losing trades, well, do you have your formula? Are you able to take a bun? <laughs> you know that commercial, the old one, where they say sesame seed bun, I can't do it. But you take the bun, the burger, the lettuce, the cheese, the sauce, and you make it, right? Okay? So anybody can make a hamburger, right? And, you know, if you get a bad, traders are always blaming the market or they're blaming trading psychology. You know, you get a bad Big Mac at McDonald's where they didn't put the meat in or they forgot the cheese and the sauce and you get a piece of bread with an onion on it. And what are you going to say? You're going to be like, you know what? The worker probably just doesn't have good burger psychology, right? <laughs> they, they're not in the right mindset for burger burger making today. No, they'd say that this person doesn't know what they're doing, okay? <laughs> they don't know what they're doing, right? The reason you're not able to trade successfully is because you're not consistent. You need to be consistent because you need to know what your setup looks like. And then when you know what your setup looks like and you actually trade that same thing every single time, well, then you can actually find out if the setup works. So if you have a setup, like what I just taught, and you come to me and say, I traded this setup, and uh, it ends up failing? Well, guess what? The setup is bad, because you had the formula in place, and you knew what worked. But what's happening is people don't have their setup defined, and they don't understand. And so that's the point of this training and this video, is to help you understand what a good setup is, right? So get your setup defined. You don't have to trade what I trade. You just need to define your setup.